So I'm working with a student here who's bouncing back from an injury and we're trying to get him back on the grind here. He had a really good lesson today, first day back in a while. And what we're gonna talk about today is properly using your weight at and through contact and not falling over during the kick. So he gets a really nice line drill here, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line on his body indicating his posture, his lean of his body. Okay, so that's his furthest left point. And what we don't want to do is have his body start there and then fall off to the left. A lot of guys that come to our camps and lessons, especially if they're newer, we see that they fall off to the left. And that's ultimately going to cause someone to swing off to the left and lose a lot of their power. So what we're looking here is to see, does Seth fall off to the left or does he stay within this side of this line with his body? So here we go. You can start seeing his shirt going off that way. And all of his weight is shifting. So that's not really good there. So we were working on it today. We corrected it at the end. But what's happening is you're trying to get all your power through the kick or as much as you can through it. But in golf, we call this a power leak. If your weight is going away or you're slicing across the ball you're losing a lot of your potential power so it's imperative when we kick a ball as a field goal kicker that we deliver as much weight through the ball at impact as we can if we have a power leak where we have part of our weight falling off this way at contact ultimately you're not putting 100 percent through you're maybe only putting 80 percent through the kick because 20% is getting lost, uh, left off to the side. So let's play this through now in full speed, and you're going to really see this. Okay, get rid of the line, and you can watch it in half speed now. Right there. Right there. So we're neutral, good, right about now you start seeing that lean. So if you have this issue where you hit it and you fall off to the side or you feel like you're not getting all your power through the kick, what you could think about is at contact, this is a big concept we talk about at our camps, and if you're watching this or you've been to our camp, you probably know what I'm about to do here, but at contact, you want to think about having 60% of your weight on the right side or at your kicking side and then 40 percent on your plant side so it's really important to make sure you have a certain balance 60 percent over here 40 percent there and where do we put that weight well typically we put it mostly over the ball over our right side and that's going to put power over the ball but again if you reverse that or put even more say 80 20 what's going to happen is all your weight's over here and that's going to steer you away from the ball. So you'll see a lot of times when you do that, you could either have a high push to the right or a low hook to the left. It could be either or depending on how your foot is at contact. But let's look at a really good positive to finish this one off. Watch how when he strikes the ball, the ball comes right at me. Boom. Perfect. That's a really good strike right there. He got really nice foot to ball contact, which you guys know if you follow us, that's the most important part of kicking foot to ball contact. But even though he had really good foot to ball contact, he's still losing a little bit of that potential because of that power leak to the left. So I hope this helps you. If you guys enjoyed this video or you feel like you got something out of it, you could always sign up for lessons at kickingworld.com or look up our camp schedule. All right.